A lot has happened since our March 1st, 2018 legislative agenda announcement. Here are a few updates for you. Our bill to update MNCDHH's statute describing the role and responsibilities of MNCDHH, HF 3290, and SF 2777 has passed in several committees. HF 3290 has passed out of the Health and Human Services Reform Committee and the State Government Operations Committee with minor changes. It was referred to the General Register. We have asked our House author, Representative Pugh, to request that the Rules and Legislative Administration Committee put it on the calendar for the day for its third reading and final passage. Thanks to board members Lloyd Ballinger, Roseanne Kath, and Michelle Ism for testifying. SF 2777 has passed Health and Human Service Policy Committee and the Government Policy Finance and Election Committee. Thanks to board member Lloyd Ballinger and Executive Director Mary Harnett for testifying. The Minnesota Historical Society selected Thompson Hall to be one of a few selected out of 2,200 plus grantees to present about the success of the Legacy Fund, which was passed by the 2008 legislature. Herman Fuchman, president of the Thompson Hall Board of Trustees, presented to the Senate Environmental, Natural Resource Policy and Legacy Finance Committee on March 7, 2018. John Fletcher, president of the Minnesota Association of Deaf Citizens, MADC, and Deaf Equity Board member, presented to the House Legacy Committee on March 26, 2018. Thompson Hall hopes to be awarded another grant from the Legacy Fund to renovate the building and make it fully accessible. Mary Harnett is helping in the search for other sources of funding. The board voted to support the Academy's bonding requests. Mary has attended one hearing and MNCDHH plans to send our consultants and board members to meet with the chairs of the House and Senate bonding committees to encourage the committees to include the Academy's four requests in the bonding bill. Superintendent Wilding is a gifted testifier, and he has been doing a great job. MNCDHH submitted public comments on the new tiered license law to the Professional Educators Licensure and Standards Board. Ann Mays, a teacher, testified in front of the board and did a brilliant job. David and Gloria Nathanson testified on the concerns for ASL teachers. Ann 
MNCDHH is meeting with AARP and the chairs of the HHS committees from both the Senate and House. We are trying to get our optional training on age-related hearing loss for care providers to become mandatory. We are trying to get visual signals added to the school safety infrastructure improvements grant. The Commission voted to support the State Council on Disabilities Accessibility for Public Buildings Bill. Bills are numbered FS 2064 and FH 2013. It passed unanimously in the Senate and had additional committees to pass in the House. If passed, it means that the building codes for public buildings constructed or remodeled after July 1st, 1963, must be accessible for all people with disabilities. At the January board meeting, the Commission board voted to support Fairview's Chemical Dependency Program and their needs for funding. Changes on a national level to Medicare and Medicaid have resulted in other states not paying to send their clients here. In March, Fairview notified us that the financial issue has become worse. We are actively reaching out to legislators to find funding to allow the program to continue. We will share more information in the future updates. For more information and to sign up for alerts, visit our website.